Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have a special perimeter defender build for you guys. And I'm letting you know now LeBron James is in the shades of. And guess what? He is going on the thumbnail. A lot of people come in the comments asking questions. Just because the person is in the shades of, um, does that mean it's that person? I mean, the shades of are a combination of three different people. So. I just wanted to get that out of the way before I start the video, man, because a lot of people, they put too much into the thumbnails and who was in the shades of it. don't matter to me, man. I'm picking one. Simple as that. So with this build, we have finishing. We have three-point shooting, mid-range shooting. We can get our own shot. Great passing on this build. Um, we also have great defense. You already know what time it is on defense. This is a perimeter defender. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. We are going to small forward position with the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. And as you guys can see, we are going six foot nine, one of the best heights in the game, 194 on the weight, 77 wingspan, built by the shape. Let's get into the build. We're gonna go ahead and start with the finishing. Now, the finishing is good in my opinion, but you know, if it was more of a LeBron James build, I would say add a little bit of post going, but we didn't add any post going on the build. So we took the driver dunk to an 87, and the 87, as you all know, it will give us an extra badge. That's why I did it. For the driver layup, we took that up to an 80, which is pretty good. If you want to go acrobat, go ahead and take it up to an 84. On the close shot, we did get that to a 67. Now, if you want a close shot higher, you're going to have to take the driving dunk down to an 80, 81, somewhere around there. And that way, you can get this up to a 75, 76. Well, 76 in this case. Now, if you want to do it like this, you can. That's totally up to you. But I would prefer having the 87 driving dunk over the uh, close shot being a little bit higher because... You can get it done, man, with a 67 on the interior. I mean, on the close shot. You know, fast twitch on bronze is okay for this build. Now, if you was at the center position, you know, taking it up would be an option. You know what I'm saying? But I think you're good with this. Standing dunk, we're going to get that to a 68. And as you guys can see, we do get 17 finishing badges, right? So I would use fast twitch posterize. That's 11. We'll go with fearless finisher. That's 15. We will go with limitless takeoff on gold. That will be 20. Slithery on silver. That will be 22. And you can throw in Acrobat if you want to. They'll make it 24. So we got 17 now. Uh, we'll get a plus 6, so they'll put us at 23. And if you want that Acrobat and if you want Rise Up, there will be some extra bads that you're going to have to add to the bill. But you can get everything that I called out first with the exception of Acrobat unless you want to add those extra badges, like I said. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make it a girl screen badge. This bill does have a 79 three-point shot. We don't want to change the name of the bill, so we're going to leave it at a 79. For the mid-range shot, we're going to take that to a 79. And for the free throw, we have a 62. And as you can see, that does give us 19 finish. I mean, finishing. 19 three-point. Three-point. Oh, my goodness. 19 shooting matches. Oh, man. I, I'm just messing up all over the place. But you know, I don't care nothing about it, man. You know, I'm going to give it to your gun barrel straight every single day. You feel me? But with this build, I would go with catch and shoot. I would use corner specialist. I still haven't used dead eye yet. Um, I just keep forgetting. Uh, green machine, throw it. I like volume shooting. Mm. Even if that badge is on bronze, throw it on your bill. Slippery all ball is good. Claymore is good. Amped is good. Uh, space creator, I just started using uh, space creator the other day. And I never could really work on it, man. You know, I don't think to do it when I'm out there playing, you know. Uh, but I will try it one of these days, man. And, and hopefully I can learn how to make those shots, you know what I'm saying. And, and, and have some fun with the space creating type shots. But let's go ahead and get it to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody need mama can see this video. And I need everybody mama to see the video. So do that for you, boy, boy. Speed with ball, we do have a 76. You can actually take it to a 75 and be fine. Now, with this build, we can't get the ball handle past the 80. Um, it will change the name of the build. Um, I tried, and it changed the name of the build to a tempo pushing wing. So if you want that build name, that's still a great build. You know, you can go ahead and take that up. For the pass accuracy, we took that up to a 78. So pretty good passing on this build. Um, we do get 19 playmaking badges. I would use unpluckable, handle for days, clamp breaker. I wish we can get clamp breaker a little bit higher, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll go with quick first step, hyperdrive, ankle breaker, and everything else is pretty much icing on the cake. So that's on you guys on what you want to add that's extra. You know, I don't necessarily know who you play with. I don't know how you play. I'm just giving you a general idea of where you should put your badges at. You know, the rest is up to you. And I'm fine with giving you guys a great build 
and then you go change what you need to change. You know, we talk about this stuff every day on the live or whatever. And I appreciate you guys for stopping by the live every day, man. It's, it's, it's growing. The lives are getting bigger and bigger every day, man. And before you know it, the lives will be the place to be uh, on this channel, man. You know, and I appreciate you guys, all the guys that stop by every day. You know who you are, man. I can give out a list, but y'all know I ain't trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to keep it moving. And we're going to get into the defense. Now, perimeter defender, you think you have to have perimeter defense. Yes, that's true. We're going to take that up to 86. But the thing about this build is that you can't take it up too high. You know, if you try to take it up higher than this, it's going to change the build name. If you try to take the steel up too high, it's going to change the name. So what we did was we took the interior defense to a 69. That's going to go up with the block. We got an 86 perimeter defense that will give us silver clamps, which is very good in my opinion to have clamps on your build. You want to be able to slow people down on the perimeter. Uh, even though with this build, you're at the small four position, so they may throw you at power forward sometimes. And that's why I added some rebound on this build, just in case you play the wreck a lot. I play the wreck a lot. I really don't like the park. I play the theater sometimes, but I like the wreck now, and that's just what it is. So when you go to the wreck, sometimes you have a power forward that puts you at center. Sometimes you have a center that puts you at power forward. Sometimes you have a small forward that puts you at power forward. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is in there. For the block, we're going to, well, on the um, steel, we get an 85. That will give us silver glove and silver interceptor. Silver glove is tier one, which is pretty good. It only costs you two badge points. On the block, we're going to take that block to an 89. And the reason I did 89 and not 88 is because you get an extra badge at 89. And you can't take it to a 93. It will change the build name to a hybrid defender. So if you want the hybrid defender, then go ahead and take it up. That's totally up to you. Uh, we do get anchor, like I said, on silver. We get chase down artists on Hall of Fame, which is pretty good. Um, that will allow you to block a lot of shots, man. Nobody can 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 just be disrespectful and just dunk on you like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the chase down will be good for this build. Um, the anchor will alter a lot of shots. All you have to do is jump. You know, don't be afraid to get dunked on. I'm not afraid to get dunked on. I don't care what highlight you put me on. I'm going up to try to block the shot. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. For the offensive rebound, we're going to take that to an 85. And the defensive rebound is a 73. And with that offensive rebound being at an 85, we do get silver anchor on this build. Uh, we get, not silver anchor, we get silver rebound chase. I'm sorry. Um, and that is pretty good in my opinion, you know, to have that on this build. And we get a total of 26. So let me take the strength up too. I took the strength up to a 65 so we can get brick wall. I don't necessarily know if you want brick wall, but we got it on this build. Uh, we'll use rebound, chase a pogo, anchor, chase down, interceptor, clamps, um, glove, box, and everything else is pretty much icing on the cake. But look at that combination. 17, 19, 19, and 26, man. That's crazy, man. And guess what? We got an 83 speed, 80 acceleration, 65 strength. 80 vert that's optional you can do a 75 and be fine and the rest is on stamina now let's get into the takeover so we have um rebounding perimeter defense shot creating wow and we got finishing so you can choose what you want to that's told up to you are you ready because guess what i do not clickbait here we go here we go here we go now we do have shades of like i was saying it's three people in the shades of sean marion jason tatum and lebron james those are similarities of all three people so i'm just going to pick one and if i had to pick one guess what it's lebron james and i'm out of here man Ciao!